Hello, I'm Kevin from Trees and Trends, and today I'm standing in our Forest Friends Christmas setting, and I'm going to show you how to put together this wreath, which is from this grouping. Um, we are, for the first time this year, offering these as kits, and so what you see here is what will come in that package if you decide that you wish to order this. We have one 24-inch princess wreath, one burlap red poinsettia, one stem of magnolia foliage, um, three ornaments, one solid burlap, one burlap and yarn, and one or green orb. Then we also have one roll of burlap ribbon and one roll of a jute mesh, and then also one small cardinal. So first off, to start off, we're going to fluff out our wreath as I have done here. And then the next thing that you're ready for is to do your ribbon. Now we're going to come out with um, a tail of about a foot long and crimp that in to start forming your bow. I do a half twist just as in the uh, how to make a bow video. You can also see that for more detail. But make your first loop and crimp. Do that half twist so that the back of your ribbon is turned up. Make your second loop. Do a half twist. Make your third loop. And then I'm going to tie that into the wreath as I'm facing it. I'm going to put that at about 11 o'clock um, if you pretend that your wreath is a clock face. I'm going to give that a couple of twists and that has that secured in. And then I'm going to let that just lay there like so. And I'm going to start with my second ribbon, which is this red open weave mesh. I'm going to do the same thing, leave a tail of about a foot long. I'm going to crimp. I still do the half twist even though the ribbon is the same both front and back. Um, that just helps give the loops themselves a bit more body. And again, I'm going to do three loops with that. Just like so. And then I'm going to use those same ties and tie that on top of the burlap. And I'm going to pull that tail over to the side and I'll just adjust my loops where you've got sort of red versus natural every other one. Okay, and then I'm going to bring this across with the other piece. Now you want to bring this, just like you see here, diagonally across um, down to oh, between 4 and 5 o'clock on the wreath and crimp both together like you see here and tie those in. Again, using just a couple of pieces of the greenery in your wreath. Okay, and then at that point, we can just trim that off. Now, because the burlap is so open weave, I don't generally cut that on an angle or do double points like you'll see me do on some of the other ribbons. Um, it just cuts down on raveling more because they will ravel out quite a lot. You can take those tips and bend under a couple of times and that helps secure that. Just like so. Okay, so now your ribbon is done. You can see this stage of the game. And now then we are ready to work on our focal point, our heaviest point, which is here. So to start off with, I'm going to use the red poinsettia and open that on out some. And I'm going to take my wire cutters and just cut the stem off fairly short. And dip that tip into my glue and insert it next to the center of my bow, just like so. And so I've got loops coming out around it. They also help to support it. Now then, um, we've got the green orb here, so I'm going to dip the edge of that into my glue, just like so, 
And I'm going to tuck that in slightly under the poinsettia blossom. And that's all supported well and so that will harden. And now then we are ready for the other two ornaments. So I'm going to take the larger burlap ball and cut the hanger off and dip that into the glue. And place that um, here where you've got your ribbon tied off, just slightly to the one side, angled out. And I'm going to take the other burlap with the print and the, the red roping on it. I'm going to clip that tie off, get that out of the way. Do the same thing. Dip, place, again on an angle, and you see those are on an angle also, not just tilted out away from each other, but also placed on an angle so there's nothing static. There's more movement going on. Okay, now then, we're ready. Um, everything here in the center has cooled good by this time, and we can take the leaves. You really never want to waste a leaf off of a stem or anything um, once you have it. Okay, and those, I'm just going to take the stem part and dip down in the glue and just tuck under into the greenery so that those edges come out from under my bloom. This way we make the most of our money and our usage. We're not throwing away some good part of the flower. Okay, now then, while that's cooling down and hardening, we're going to take our magnolia and this one separates out into three areas and you see we've got one, two, three sprays of magnolia in this wreath. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this apart. And go ahead and shape our leaves out. This particular stem, the leaves are all wired which always makes it very nice. Um, when you're shopping for something, if everything is wired, you can shape it however you need to. Shape it out so that everything has kind of got its space. Don't spread it out like fingers, but give it a natural shape, a natural curve. Okay, now then, our largest spray, which is this one, is going to go here. So I'm going to dip that in the glue and insert it below. Now, should it seem like um, this may not be firmly anchored, you can always take a tip of the greenery below and just fold that tip over your center stem a bit and that will help secure uh, just in case your glue doesn't catch fully. Most of the time it will but things do happen as we know. Okay, our next size down for this. I'm going to dip it in the glue and we're going to come to this other side and we're going to bring it out about right up here. Okay, like so. And then the smallest piece we're going to dip in and this is going to pull the foliage across the wreath down to the lower side. We're going to tuck that just underneath our ornaments. And then you see how the leaves there are kind of curling back, the same here, as if they've grown literally around those ornaments. And so that has everything up to this stage. The only thing we have left is to add our bird. And he can simply clip in, I'm going to bend this out just a little bit, he can clip into our branch. You can also glue him on, but the clip does hold very firmly. And there you have your completed wreath.
I hope you've enjoyed this project and it's inspired you. You can use your own things in these same techniques or you can check our on website line and order this kit for yourself while supplies last. <laughs>